In an earlier video, I discussed the scenario where you took a solar panel with you to recharge your trolling motor battery. Well, Agway sent me a refurbished solar panel that's 120 watts. Let's see how it does on the trolling motor battery as well as a power station you might use to keep your refrigerator running during a power outage. Stay tuned. If you like to kayak camp and use your trolling motor at the same time, you know that you're only good for about a day and then the motor is exhausted. If you have a secure campsite, you could set up your solar panel, recharge your power station, and then reuse the power station to recharge your motor overnight. Or if you're not fishing every day, you could hook up the solar panel directly to the battery, recharge it, and then get back out on the water. Well, this unit only weighs about 12 pounds, and it is a small form factor, which makes it pretty easy to strap to the back of your kayak. The disadvantage of the older models is that they are not completely waterproof. You have to protect the junction box in the back, but the manufacturer tells me that they have solved that problem on anything that would ship from here on out. So you don't really have to worry about that. Now, what this thing comes with is connector cables that are a DC to DC connection, as well as a DC to Anderson jack connection. Well, <laughs> my power station doesn't have any of those, and so I, I had to go buy a DC to XT60 connector to make sure it would work with the power station. And I'll, we'll demonstrate that here in a minute. To connect it to the battery, the manufacturer recommends that you get a solar controller, which I've got over there. I bought an inexpensive one for about $18. You can get them even cheaper, but I didn't want to rely on that. I had to buy a DC connector to two bare wires to get it to hook up to the solar connector. So that was another eight bucks, but now I should have something that'll work between the solar panel and my battery. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up and I'll go through some of the other interesting specifications that it has. Note that it has these stands on the back that you will use to prop it up into the sun. All your connectors are here in this pouch and this is where you can see that it has all the different adapters to hook up to different DC inputs. They all connect into this box right here which will also charge up to three USB devices uh, at the same time. So that's kind of handy to keep your tablet or your phone charged using the solar panel especially during a power outage. So let's go look at charging my power station first and so what I'm going to do is hook up the DC cable and this is a standard jack right here to my XT connector. I'm going to pump that in right here pushing that into the connector on the back and now once I spread this thing out I should see my power station start to charge. So here's where that goes. Let's undo the other strap. The interesting thing about this solar panel, it is made out of a monocone, monocrystalline silicon, which the manufacturer says is 22.8% efficient. And I was skeptical of that, so I went and looked it up, and here's what Forbes says. It confirms that that is at the top of the current technology standard right now to have that type of high efficiency input. The other thing the manufacturer says is that this is made out of a material called EFTE, which is self-cleaning. Now, what that really means is that if uh, rain and wind are going to keep dust off this, but you're still going to have to wipe it down if it gets pretty nasty. Now, this thing has a 6 amp output, which is why I made sure on my solar connector I got 18 gauge wire to be able to make sure that I could handle that output into my trolling motor battery. Now this will not charge a 24 volt 
battery. The maximum voltage output on this thing is 20 volt. As you can see, it doesn't take up much room. I like the fact that these stands that come with it punch it up to about a 25 degree angle to be optimum to catching the sun. Now I've also heard that the best angle for a solar panel matches your latitude and I'm, I'm at 34 degrees so this is just a little bit suboptimum for where I am. So let's take a look at my charging station here. 73 watts, not bad. So that's pretty good on a, a mid-April day. Let's get in a little closer to this solar controller so I can show you how I had to get it set up. As I mentioned, the first thing is I had to get the DC to bare wire connector and then it goes in right there where it says solar panel. Then I got two wires that were, I had 14 gauge, but you could get away with 18 with uh, six amps. And I connected them up to some alligator clips on the thing that says battery right there. Now let's charge up my trolling motor battery. I've got the DC input connected to my controller and I've got my output going down to my positive and negative on the terminals itself. Now, sadly for this test, my Bluetooth app is showing that I'm already 100% charged. So I'm not really gonna see any charging going into my battery, but on the controller, which I've already set to be a lithium ion battery it's showing 14.4 volts of input, so I know that it's going to work. There you go, that kind of wraps up this test. Bottom line is, this is a nice small footprint for kayak camping or use during a hurricane or something like that. When your power goes out and you need to charge up a power station, camping, you need to charge up your trolling motor battery. The big negative about this is it only supports the DC and the Anderson jack and I had to buy the adapter to get it to go into XT60. So if your power station like mine is XT60, you're gonna have a couple bucks of extra cost to do that. And likewise, for the trolling motor battery, you have to buy a solar controller. Thankfully, these things are inexpensive and it won't break the bank. So if you've had any experience with this particular solar panel, I'd really like to hear your input. Throw it down below. And again, I'd like to thank Agway for sending me this refurbished, refurbished model to go ahead and test on this video today. Let's go fishing.